I, I just feel like I've seen this name before. Mm-hmm. Can you hear it? I can't. Oh, okay. Yep. You know, I can't hear anything. You know what? I like to imagine a lot here. <laughs> okay. He must have said something. <laughs> he said burn. <laughs> oh. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. What do you think so far? I think first I need some sound. I'm trying. Yeah, buddy, you need to hit the escape button and give me some sound, okay? okay? I, I can't. I can't hit the escape. So what you're saying is that there is no escape. <laughs> How's it going, Ryan? Going pretty good. You uh, feeling stabby? Line this up. I mean, I always feel a little bit stabby, but not enough to like kill you, you know? Okay, yeah, cool. Because right, I'm got same boat. Same you boat here. In here. You don't. You're, you're feeling stabby, are you? No, I already had a task in here. I had, I, I got it done, so I'm moving to I'm moving okay. to O2. Cool. What? <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> It's such a weird show because like everything in there is so obviously planted because they're like, all right, let's see. You have this storage compartment full of things and um, you bought it for $800. They pick out like one thing from this whole storage locker and they're like, all right, let's compare this to everything else and see what, the, what it appraises for. And someone's like, yeah, it's worth $500. And they're like, ah, Fuck, I had a $300 loss on this storage unit. Like, there's a whole other storage unit. There's like a hundred things. I saw a treadmill. You could sell that for another hundred. And you just like pulled out a fucking like elf cup holder and decided to try to sell that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ryan, I hate the attic. I know, it's just the- but the attic is where all the cash money is. But there are so many spiders in the attic, Ryan! I know, but you know what? You just gotta deal with your arachnophobia. And there's a Polly Pocket in the corner that's missing an arm! Uh, give it its arm back! No! I'm using it to fight off the spider! <laughs> wow, that's hardcore. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no! You done blocked it! <laughs> that was a reaction if I've ever seen it. <laughs> hey, good news. <laughs> Really good news for you. I'm bringing some fun times your way. I can't see! I'm crying! <laughs> they say the price of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? <laughs> Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. So, uh... Mm. Is that a rhythm heaven? Yeah. You doing well? I'm trying to. Mm-hmm. Near, <laughs> far, <laughs> wherever you are, and I know that my heart will go on. He looks like he's about to run over pedestrians. <laughs> but he's gonna, he's, but you're not gonna blame him for it because look at that face. He's like, he he's looks like, like he knows he's gonna get away with it. He's like, sometimes you run over, oh, let me get my impression right. Yeah. Sometimes you run over pedestrians in your Honda Civic, like, can't help being a Gemini. <laughs> I don't think I can stay here. I'm a Gemini. And I know my vibes don't go well with Libros. <laughs> well, hello there. Mind if I ask you a personal question? Um. Cool, I'm gonna ask it anyway. So, let's say you draw something in chalk and you erase it. <laughs> 
Do you know where it goes? Oh, God. <laughs> That's right, Buster. I'm going to touch your titty. I see everything. <laughs> Don't touch its titty! <laughs> but it's a good titty, Spider-Man. Now, Peter, quick question. You ever seen Chalk Zone? No, I haven't. I refuse to listen. No. <laughs> we need to talk chalk, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I'm just so... Be. My name's yeah, but then you got the to and I just want to <laughs> eat black coals. I don't, I don't think he's fire. ever sounded like that. I want but my yes, your point still stands. <laughs> catch fire so I can feel the pain that I felt when Maria left this mortal coil. I listened to Avenge sevenfold through my belly button. It's a dream. Hello, Roberta. Hello, oh. Roberta. Hello. What's your name? I am the nameless. The na well, how about I call you... The no, na I'm nameless for your protection. What, what, do you, what, do you, what does that mean? Feed me. <laughs> I, I, look. Feed me, Roberta. I don't know if I can do this again, okay? I, I, look. Feed me, I, Roberta. Okay, I will feed you on one condition. Yay! Are you ready to hear out my condition? Yay! Please leave my friend Tor alone. <laughs> Yay! I need a yes. Yay! I... Sorry, I just got a dose of reality in that Mike Pollock, like, at yeah, least... Yeah, no! In a very roundabout way, knows a bit... Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> See you guys oh. next time. Uh, between this episode and next episode, Penny's going to have an existential <laughs> crisis. You can hear it in the background if you listen very carefully. <laughs> there it is. See you guys next time. I'm gonna die! <laughs> the world is in a state of entropy! <laughs> Alright, get back here. What are you drinking? Bone hurting juice. So I can feel something. Anything. Whether it be pain. Joy. Sorrow. Despair. An ouchie in my bones. Something. Because right now, everything in my mind has been replaced with Sonic's asymmetrical nipples. And I just need something. Something to replace the thought, but it won't go away. I, I try to think about something I like. I try to think about, like, some Overwatch. I try to think about, like, the new updates coming out. It all comes back to Sonic nipple. I try to think about my loved ones. I try to think about what it's going to be like when I first lay eyes on my firstborn child and I realize that my legacy will go on and that I have something to live for. But all I will think about is the gaze that Tails gives me with his, with his white corn off the cob teeth and his eyes. Oh Christ, his eyes. He wanted to ask me a question. I heard it. I heard through the lies. I heard through the language he he asked me a question. He asked me when I wanted to die. I had to tell him now. See you next time! <laughs> Shut up!